Hey, 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 welcome everybody to the final LEGO Indiana Jones free play! That's right, this is the Last Crusade, Chapter 6, The Temple of the Grail. We're going to get those final 10 mini kits. We're going to get that final red parcel brick for invincibility. We're also going to get that true adventurer status and a couple of achievements. One for collecting all the artifacts and one for posting all the red parcel bricks. Hey, guess what? We have quick links down below in the video description. You probably know that by now, but just in case you're in a hurry for a specific collectible, they're there for your use, so feel free to use them. Go ahead and let the game choose the characters for you for the Temple of the Grail free play. And we'll go ahead and jump right in. And as soon as we gain control, we get that true adventure status thanks to a stud magnet red brick as well as a handful of multipliers. The only one we don't have is the times 10. We opted to save that one for a later date. Now we'll go ahead and use our bazooka tube to take out both of these bad guy trucks. In fact, we need to do that to stop the bad guys from spawning, but also to reveal the old mailbox there. In fact, we need the red brick to stuff inside of it, but we find that towards the front of our screen using our favorite shovel-wielding friend, Satipo. He's going to go ahead and dig so deep, though, and grab that red parcel brick. <laughs> you like that? Should have used that one earlier. All right, go ahead and post the mail there, and we're going to make our way to the far right side. Get on the old buck and bronco here and jump your way up top. Once you get that, yeet off the ledge and make your way back down to the gate here. That's right, we're the gatekeeper now. We'll open this up and allow our friendly horsies to go ahead and get out. In fact, we're going to switch to a female character just because there might be a little bit of higher abilities with the female. We're going to go to the far left side and jump up with that bunk and, the buck and bronco one more time to get that mini kit on the left. So we have the red brick and we have a mini kit already. Now you can dig up that statue there, build up a little spot to jump up onto, but you can actually use the female to get up top, no problem. So I uh, went ahead and jumped up there and now have used my academic ability to go ahead and solve the first of two hieroglyphic puzzles. We're gonna make our way to the far left side, grabbing studs along the way. Make sure you match it up. It's kind of like a game of connect the dots, la la la. Anybody remember that? Like I've said that multiple times and you guys might remember it from that. But do you remember where I got that from? You have to be rather weathered like myself in order to remember that. Hey, did you notice that the, our AI is not so I right now? They're not so intelligent. They're actually stuck over there. They kept dying, so I had to make work of both levers myself, and you might have to do the same. Go ahead and grab the torch as soon as you walk in, and we're going to make our way into the next room over to the right-hand side. We're going to toss our torch in. That's going to give us the access to that academic puzzle, but we're going to go ahead and switch to a thuggy character and make our way to the far right. We're going to worship him real quick. He's going to open up a secret stash, and then we're going to build the poster. What? We want that mini kit. We'll go ahead and take something like a sword, toss it at it, and reveal the secret room with the mini kit inside. So, woo to the who. We got them too. <laughs> All right, one more. You know, there's so many of these academic puzzles that we have to solve on this. It's actually kind of ridiculous. In fact, I think if you do some math, I think if you counted all the puzzles in this level, they might equal, like, all the puzzles in the entire game. I'm being a little bit exaggerative there, but at the same time, I feel like it's pretty dang close. All right, we went ahead and solved that puzzle, brought the blue brick and slapped it into place. The next one's going to be found under this statue that we go ahead and smash and then dig up the brick from down below with Mr. Satipo, though. <laughs> okay. All right, hey, I told you this whole series was going to be just packed, jam-packed with bad puns and dad jokes. And I don't know if I fully delivered or not. You guys will have to tell me as we are rounding that final home stretch. All right, use another academic puzzle to get those little, uh, <laughs> there's all sorts of traps that begin moving as soon as we solve that. We secretly somehow make it through there. And once we get to the end, we find that there is a little hatch at the left side. We'll go ahead and switch to somebody so, so small and go through and flip the lever up top, giving us access into a new room. Now, it's kind of funny here. I thought for a second, because I was little, it might not weigh me down enough. So I switched to another character. Did you see that? Like I was so, so small. I wasn't sure he weighed enough to bring that weight down. All right, as we progress through the level, we make our way across the bridge. We notice there is some more traps inside. There are, is another mini kit. <laughs> R, R, what am I, a pirate? Anyways, all right, hey, you're gonna notice an edit coming up here because I apparently am bad at game. We went ahead and jumped up here and uh, I was not patient. You probably saw the edit right there, it was a little jumpy. 
Speaking of jumpy, I was too jumpy right here. I kept jumping and getting spiked by that. So my my uh, timing was totally off. I waited one more full like revolution segment, however you want to look at it, so that they went in and went out. And uh, and then it worked fine. So just take your time with that. Just be super patient. All right, we used Indy on that whip it pad to whip it good. To go ahead and pull down the bridge and give us access across. We're going to go ahead and dig up some bricks to push this bridge across, giving us more access. Once we get over there, we're actually going to switch to a thuggy character so we can go ahead and yeet a sword up at the rope. That's right. That was odd. I, I swear I had it targeted, but I guess I just had the white targeting, not the blue. So make sure it's blue before you toss that sword. All right, over in the far right corner, we're going to find a spin to win. We'll go ahead and move that all the way around, and it should retract them spikes right below us. As you can see, they are all gone. Now we can drop down and grab the green brick. We need to go ahead and push this other spot or all the way around. It's like a it's like a big, uh, I don't know, column of sorts? Columns don't usually spin, which is weird. And, you know, I got to give these guys props for all these old traps and stuff. You know, if you think about it, all these counterweights and old ropes and stuff, it's pretty amazing if it really happened and exists. I've never gone on, like, a national treasure of run or anything like that, so <laughs> I don't know. All right, hey, in the new area, we got our hobbit holes. So we'll go ahead and go so, so small and pop up the other side, spin to win with that key. It should raise up the actual bars, preventing us from getting in there, but also some access to get up top there. We'll go ahead and use the vine, it's so divine, to get across this gap here. We'll solve yet another hieroglyphic puzzle on the far right side. This is gonna open up a door. We're gonna switch to Andy and use his whip to pull down that, I don't I guess it's like an eye of some sort. I, I am not really sure. <laughs> inside though, we find the key needed. We'll go ahead and place it inside and spin it to win it. Lots of key spinning too. It raises the bridge. Now we can go ahead and make our way out to some handhelds. And once we get across this gap, we're gonna find that there is the worst mini kit of the game. No, I, I'm not really gonna call it that. But I will say that I struggled miserably with this. So in my scouting run, my preliminary run that I do to kind of make sure I know where everything is, I nailed it. I actually didn't even realize they were moving. I'm not even kidding. Like, my timing was just so absolutely perfect. I didn't even know there was an objective there to overcome. I struggled. It actually took me almost a minute and a half to do that. So I edited that out. Uh, so, but yeah, I wanted to let you guys know that just because if you do struggle with it, if it looks really easy on my end, eh, it's not necessarily super easy. If you know what you're doing and your timing is good, it should be pretty simple. But I made it a lot harder than it needed to be, and my impatience really made it uh, harder, really. So, so make sure you're patient. All right, here we go. We go ahead and use the old conveyor to get this blue brick all the way back over to the left-hand side. It should complete that puzzle and open up the room where we get yet another whoa watch that first step it's a doozy all right if you if you can make the jump we'll go ahead and solve the puzzle by simply jumping on all of the tiles that light up and flash the green letters uh it's supposed to spell like uh i think jehovah in hebrew if i remember but I, my spelling is not great, especially in, in Hebrew. So I, I don't know if that's what that really made it out to be. All right, as soon as we get in the new area, we see some silver spikes or teeth. We're going to go ahead and blast him right in the mouth. That's right. Pow him in the kessa and take all them. No, all the mini kit, I guess. Uh, the studs on the right, though, not worth it. That bluesy was not close enough for the attract, and I've plummeted to my doom, probably losing at least a thousand. But. All right, on the left-hand side, as we cross our first bridge, we find a gravel point that we can use old Indy for. So whip it good and grab that mini kit. Now, we've got another Indy pad on the far right side. We'll go ahead and drop the bridge and grab this box O bricks. That's right. We're going to go ahead and slap it on a base plate and build it up into a push switch. We'll go ahead and push it along all the way until that door in the back is all the way open. So that's right. Now, unfortunately, if you noticed, as soon as we came into this area, I did grab a torch with my secondary character, and I was hoping that they would hold on to that torch as long as the level was, but unfortunately, it did not work out. So we're going to have to come all the way back and grab it. I recommend you keep it with your primary character because this way you won't drop it accidentally like my secondary character did. 
we're going to go ahead and take a leap of faith across all these bridges, yeet that into place. Now, I recommend running by it and then toggling to your secondary character and switching to an academic ability because otherwise your primary character, if, if you walk up, the secondary character might be right in your way. Uh, so I, I, it's possible. But hey, woo to the hoo! That's all the mini kits for both me and you. I mean, assuming you've been following along. Now all we have to do is make it to the end of one more bridge, and in the next room, we're going to go ahead and have to solve one more, you guessed it, academic puzzle, and then whip it good to get across a chasm. That's right. And then last but not least, we got to grab the right gauntlet, or grail, if you will. So solve one more, and the door should open. Open says the door. All right. Inside, we got to whip it. Good. All right. Good, good, good. We know which one it is is because it's the one not made of gold, the one not glowing. And uh, we'll go ahead and whip it good one more time. Double whips. And I recommend staying away from this guy. He'll probably murder you if you're not careful. But hey, yeah, boy, invincibility posted. We got your mail is on your desk. That's actually for getting all of those red parcel bricks and launching them out. This, this is history. That's actually for getting all of those artifacts. So we got all of them. That's right. All of what, 180 of them? That's pretty sweet. All right, we've obviously got a little bit of studage left over. Uh, we do have some characters and some red parcel bricks to purchase. Not to mention, we're going to have to solve one more puzzle and open up three more levels. That's right, the adventure isn't quite over yet. What is exactly in store? I'm not sure, as I have not played the final three bonus levels, as I guess we'll call them. But uh, that being said, guess what? Woo to the who! We are officially done with all the free play, though. So that's pretty awesome. Lego Indiana Jones, The Last Crusade, Chapter 6, The Temple of the Grail. Free play is officially completed. Pat yourselves on the back. Hit that like button. And of course, for me, as always, until next time.